Flip is liquid clay that is often applied to the outside of pots for decoration as a way to add color to pottery. Today I'm going to talk about how you can make and use slip to decorate greenware pottery. Why use slip? Building clays are often selected for their working properties, things like plasticity and wet strength. Also building clays are selected for their availability. They have to be available in abundance. Native communities would often be limited to clays that were nearby the village since it takes a large quantity of clay to make pots, and it's heavy. Slip clays, on the other hand, are often colorful clays that may not have good working properties. They may, for example, be lacking in plasticity, but it doesn't matter because you're not building pots with them. Also, it doesn't have to be available in large quantities. A small amount of slip can cover many, many pots, so it could be available on a trade route, for example. Slips can also be used to make pottery less porous. Because slips are usually more pure than the building clay, and they're often polished, they make a good sealant for a more porous clay body. How to make slip. If you're using a commercial clay, it's already purified. You can just take pieces of the clay, put them in water and let them sit and soak for a while, and then use a brush or a spoon or anything to just mush those up until it's the consistency you're looking for. When using a wild clay for a slip, we first need to worry about purifying it, getting out any rocks and sand and roots or anything else that might obstruct the slip being used on the outside of a pot. I usually do this by levigation. Levigation is just using gravity to remove those larger particles. So I put the clay in water and let it soak up, usually for a few hours, even overnight. Make sure the clay is well slaked. Mix it up really good into a thin solution and then wait a minute. As you wait, those larger particles, the sand and silt sized particles in the clay will naturally settle to the bottom. Then you can pour off the pure liquid clay from the top. Repeat this process over and over until you have mostly sand and grit in the original container. Leave the purified clay sit for a few hours. The clay will naturally settle towards the bottom, leaving you with a layer of pure water on top that you can pour off. At this point, it's probably still too thin to use as slip. So you can let it stand out and evaporate, or you can even put it on a stove and turn the heat up a little bit to help boil it and evaporate some of that water out of it. When the slip is about as thick as heavy whipping cream, it's ready for use. Some wild clays are relatively pure and therefore don't need to be levigated. In some cases, you can just slake the clay and use it as is, just like you would use commercial clay. Or some clays that tend to be lumpy or have small amounts of impurities can be passed through a paint strainer, which works really good at removing small amounts of impurities and getting that clay ready to use quickly. These paint strainers like this can be purchased at just about any hardware store. How to use slip. I usually apply slip with a brush in two or three very thin coats, but a lot of that depends on the slip and the clay body. So experimentation as usual is always important. If you liked this subject about decorating pottery with slip, then you're probably gonna love this video over here, which is a live stream I did recently discussing 10 ways to decorate pottery without glaze. This video covers various uses of slips in decorating pottery. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.